The French Foreign Legion is an elite military force who are legendary for their grim combat training and notorious for the way they teach French. Not a minute is wasted and no mercy is given. Could this be the world's most brutal French class? On the battlefield, it is all about communication. You need to know the exact words to send a critical message. And the guy on the other end needs to understand those exact words. There is no time for, uh, sorry, can you say that a different way, please? Problem is, foreign legion recruits come from all over the planet and speak many different languages. I am not joking. The solution? Everyone has to learn French. That's right, and you can forget going home to cry on somebody's shoulder at the end of the day. Your instructor says, you will learn French fast because I am not your mother. And unlike any other language class, the Legion is not going to teach you French as a second language, but rather as a working language. What does that mean? Well, all I'm going to say is you will definitely have an opinion by the end of the video. <laughs> T'as perdu 10 secondes. 10 secondes t'as perdu parce que je te demandais qu'on va confirmation numéro, 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 et tu ne me réponds pas. T'as pas envie de me répondre Non, c'est toi. Tu veux me souffrir Oui, c'est toi. Tu vas souffrir, on est bien d'accord. New recruits get 17 weeks to learn operational French if they don't want to get kicked out. In those four months, they have to master 500 French words and be able to use them in sentences. They don't particularly care if your grammar isn't perfect, but they do care how fluently you speak. No mistakes allowed. I could say oui or uh, bonjour, <laughs> and that's all. So I had maybe two or three words I knew in French language. So the two big language goals are be able to have a conversation in French and know all the military words you need to function in your unit. To get you in the mood, from day one, it is forbidden to speak your native language. You'll be learning French 24-7. And if you dare speak any other language, you're in big trouble. And after not even 10 days in the boot camp, you are able to say things in French language like your uh, blood group, you know, your numero sanguine or your group sanguine. That's it. That's what they call them. And you are able to tell them your numero of your FAMAS. In my time, it was the FAMAS. Today is the HK 417, the German weapon, your Sturmgewehr, Sturmgewehr. <laughs> and you are able to tell them your matricule, huh? your number, your personal identification number. So, 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 this set so one week. That's what they want to hear after 10 days. But it's okay, you can do it. Also, the Legion gives you a new French name, and you'd better respond to that name when it's called out. This young Russian's only fault is to not have quickly responded to the call of his name. Next time you will answer faster. You live, breathe, work and dream in French. And if they could enter your dreams to check if you're speaking French in there, they would. In your room, in your section, in your platoon, you have about 15 different nationalities. You have French, Mongolians, German, British, whatever. And there's only one ban, one absolute ban. And this is to talk another language than French. Make no mistake, that ban is a ban. The classes are often held in a regular classroom environment, either within the Legion's training center or barracks. But the word classroom is a technicality here. It might be in a room with desks and whiteboards, and it might be outside in the field. There are usually about 40 to 50 people in a class, and the instructor is not a trained language teacher. He's just your usual platoon leader who happens to be also drilling you in French. As you might expect, his approach is going to be direct and no nonsense. This means that inside or outside, you will concentrate. Avec moi, deuxième échelon, et à droite, euh, trois binômes. Espacement entre chaque binôme, 5 mètres. The punishments are so tough, you are not going to want to mess up. Of course, if you'd rather learn cool things with no punishments, well, you can just hit these three safety buttons right here. In the first month, you will learn 100 words. In the end of the instruction, four months later, you will be able to speak to understand 500 words. So how do you teach someone 500 words they will never forget, especially not under extreme pressure on a battlefield? It is called the Kepi Blanc method, and it's based on three key ingredients, repetition, incentive, and immersion. Repetition is the big one. First mission for the instructor, get all recruits to the same minimum base. It's tricky business when they all speak different languages. Think about it. Japanese grammar works very different to German grammar, and French spelling is, uh, how do I put this? So a lot of the stuff you learn is parrot fashion in the beginning, and you don't know what anything means, but you will. 
You don't have a choice. You will get drilled over and over and over. Details coming up. A lot of the lessons will be based on a book called the Carnet du Légionnaire. This is your basic instruction manual and each recruit gets one. It's full of things you need to know. Different weapons that you use, different tactics, navigation techniques, foreign legion history. Understanding this book is the whole reason they even bother giving lessons. Okay, so what about those incentives? Are they good ones? Well, I'd say they are the kind that work the best. Punishment and promotion. Throw in an absolute ton of immersion and what do you get? The perfect storm of language learning. To lock in those 500 essential words, you need some basic French skills, don't you? So they start you off with the fundamentals. Greetings, introductions, numbers, simple words, and then come the harder things. Grammar, sentence structure, and trickier words. They work you up to conversation skills and expect you to practice with the other legionnaires. So what do you think that means? Come on, take a guess. Hey, Rudin, what are you going <laughs> to dream of tonight? <laughs> food, food, and smoking. <laughs> That's right, even in your downtime, only French is allowed. The main thing they need from you is that you learn to understand orders in French and report back in French. Never forget that you're learning the very words and phrases that will keep you alive. It's an exceptionally practical method of learning a new language where absolutely every new word fits into your real life daily routine. And it's a tough life that you'll have for the next five years. There's a typical lesson structure coming up, so don't go away. By the way, if you want to learn French fast and you don't fancy going to the French Foreign Legion, there's a really fun and efficient method that gets you fluent thanks to the power of story. No push-ups in sight. It's called the story learning method. And if you want to find out more, take a look in the video description below for your free story learning kit. There's Video masterclasses, an ebook, a planner, go check it out. Feutre, feutre, répétez. Feutre, feu, allume-moi le feu. Feutre, feutre. Your instructor walks in holding a pointer and he writes some verb conjugations on the board. Je suis, tu es, il est, and the whole class has to read aloud and he's watching and listening carefully. You don't know what the verbs mean, so you're thinking, what are these words? Well, he'll make you repeat them over and over until you get it. He points to someone's head with his pointer and he goes, hair, repeat, hair, nose, eye, one eye, two eye, ear, repeat. Next thing he starts whistling individuals to their feet. And if it's your turn, make sure you get that word gender right. It's not la pousse, it's la pousse, it's masculine. Or he writes a list of prepositions, adjectives, adverbs for you to copy down. But inevitably, even a preposition lesson is stressful. The more que vous connaissez pas encore. Le préposition de lieu. Près de. Répétez. Près de. Loin de. Répétez. Loin de. Show me. Nepal. Nepal. Montre-moi mon Nepal. All right. Is Nepal far from France? Loin de la France. Or near France? Far from France. La France. Voilà. It's good, it's good. Okay, sit down. He got it. Next, he tells someone, jump on the table. And you all say, he's on the table. To another guy, crawl under the table. And what do you say? All together now. Okay, you get it. Then he sends you outside. There's a dirt track leading to an upper field. And he shouts, go to the track. You all run to the track. And so it continues. Where are you? We're on the track. Get in the ditch. We are in the ditch. Not your average French conversation class, is it? And there'll be lots of military terms that you then have to know. Things like names of equipment that you'll be working with. Basically everything that's in your little book. Wherever possible, there are visuals, so the connection is immediate. You learn the difference between present, past, and future, but the ritual remains the same. Repeat after me. Morning, afternoon, night, week after week. So what happens if you mess up? Well, I'm glad you asked. Pompe! Pomp! Pomp! Cola! Pompe! Pompe, that means make push-ups. You make push-ups until your nose is hurting the mud, right, Pompe? Until you have arms like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Pump! Wow, talk about shock treatment. Make no mistake, the men start speaking French very quickly. What do you say, would you be willing to learn a language this way? Here's the real kicker. Legionnaires don't end up speaking pure French, but rather a dialect all of their own.
there are a lot of French songs to learn. The anthem starts, we are crafty, we are rogues, not ordinary types. Obviously, that's the English translation, and I'm pretty sure that you've got that by now. Whenever you move anywhere, walking or running, it's always in formation, and you always sing. We sing a lot, a lot, a lot, every day. Sing in tune, sing louder, sing deeper, and sing in French, hour after hour, sometimes late into the night, and push-ups for punishment. But push-ups are the least of your problems. And if you enjoyed this tame version of Foreign Legion language lessons, tune in to the full story next. It's all over here in this video.